Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah. I'm shouting. Oh, right. Oh, well, then, it's not it's not it's not it's not it's not Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little bit deeper in the uh, well, well, It's mainly for the rest. It's fully concrete. I'm finally using it. I think that we are super in. I can actually say on the outskirts. Crystal clear. And then, yeah. Well, I'm thinking about your guy who's coming with his van and making stuff. That's a lot, a lot of people. Yes, Trace is all freaky and loader and even a dynamic. Now start moving forward now. Okay, right, we're just about to um, give you a submarine demonstration and the water comes plugs in and makes the boat heavy and down she goes. Well, Yeah, mate. I'm not like you're going to break it, is he? <laughs> <laughs>
You end up when you blow with just that bit left. I've got some as well. Brilliant. Thank you. Sorry, the jam jars were from where, did you say? They were just, um, who's, who's that? They're the Morrisons, actually. Morrisons. Those are, um, Getty Bowl jars, sauce jars. Yeah. And that's, um, Harvey's jam, I think it is. Harvey's jam Apri in the middle. Apricot. In the middle. Apricot. <laughs> Flavour's important. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to buoyancy, you know. Hello. Boys! Ship in position. Here we go. Fire one. He's going to miss. Straight across the stern. That's the way you do it. Right, uh, here we go again. Um, here we go. Oh, fire. fire. Hey. Hey. That's another hit. Right, we're on again, I believe. Yes. Away she goes. Away. I think that's about one out of four. Five, six, three. Right in the bow. We must be running out of torpedoes. Fire one. Fire one. Fire um, yeah, they were very successful actually. Uh, the the uh, torpedoes were um, able, able slung. They were full size electric G7 electric torpedoes. And there are several accounts of the torpedoes being released by uh, the, uh, the captain and not coming off the rails of the submarine and propelling the whole vessel with its crew towards the target. and the whole thing blew up. So this is uh, actually recorded in certain places. Associated with tugboats, but uh, some had the course nozzle, some versions had twin rudders, um, it just depended on where they were built and at what period in the war. Yeah, well, the Swedish boat is a very bulky boat, obviously, and we haven't got enough depth really to get her to sit right down on the bottom or go underneath. That's just about the limit, I think. Again, she's got lights. Again, she's fitted with a uh, an angle torpedo uh, ballast system. Um, so down. Uh, the air is stored in a forward chamber where the compressor is and it's kept there against a little valve until you want to open that valve which allows that air under pressure to reverse the flow and come in over the top of the ballast tank and force the water out through the bottom. That's exactly what a real submarine does. Yeah, real submarines have a, uh, compressors on board and they do the same thing so they just vent the system, uh, vent the tanks and water floods it and then they shut the vents at the top and then they use compressed air which is carried on board to force that water back out against the surface of the boat. So this, uh, the grey one, the little 27B works on a very similar system. There is one disadvantage in model submarines, if you go too deep you don't have enough print. Thank you.
So who can tell me a bit about this uh, this sub? You were telling me just a minute ago it's a skipjack. Yeah, so my right? mum made it. Your so mum made this? Yeah, and then dad did all the electrical stuff like the pump module, the uh, shaft and everything else in it. Goes really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very well. Does it have um, ballast tanks? A pump module. A what, sorry? A pump module. A pump module? Yeah, the ballast tanks are in the seat. Took about four weeks to build. Four weeks? Yeah. And to put the, uh, the scheme on the outside of it, I guess, the little yeah. bit of paint. Yeah. Just make it like, it feel like real life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shows up really well in the water despite a lot being black. Yeah. See, for several months or years, it uh, looked quite as bad as this. But you will notice if you look closely, all the uh, some of the panels are damaged and bent and twisted, which is uh, a very realistic effect. So, this actual boat doesn't actually represent any specific Type 7, uh, that is still being researched. Several U-boats, in fact many several of them, uh, were lost and uh, have still not been found. So, um, half an hour of panic she did come back. Can I imagine telling Churchill that there's a German submarine lost in his pond? Okay, yeah, that, that, that really concludes. We've only got three boats here to, to show you, but we've got one more other boat which uh, we're going to put in the water and uh, hopefully give you a demonstration of torpedo firing. <laughs> 